Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and today we're going to discuss a somewhat exciting new study that once again creates something that nobody actually knew existed up until relatively recently. And in this case we're talking about an extremely exotic state of matter. The state of matter known as super solid. In this case, what the researchers were able to achieve is something that nobody thought would be even possible. They managed to basically stir it. Discovering something unusual in the process. And so let's discuss this in a little bit more detail, but obviously because this is such a deep topic, let's start in the beginning. And the beginning being just your regular world around you. We know that there are basically four states of matter, gas, liquid, solid, and occasionally we also get to experience plasma. But in modern physics, researchers realize that in extreme conditions, you can actually create exotic states of matter as well. Something that we do think exists in things like, for example, neutron stars, something that existed in the first few moments of the universe, and something that might exist before the universe ends as well. And one of the most famous examples of this unusual exotic matter are of course various experiments that were actually filmed involving liquid helium. Helium that becomes superfluid in extremely cold conditions. Here you actually see this unusual liquid climbing up the walls of the cup and basically ignoring all of the laws of physics we take for granted, which allows a lot of these superfluids creep up and escape any container. But superfluids possess additional properties that basically would make no sense, at least in your classical physics. For example, when it comes to spinning, compared to a classical liquid, a superfluid, or a quantum liquid, is going to end up producing entirely different vortices. Here, because a superfluid contains zero viscosity and can easily flow without any energy loss, when stirred, they actually end up forming unusual vortices that don't just continuously rotate indefinitely, but also don't even look the same as in a classical liquid. Here, they don't appear in the center where you stir the liquid, and instead they form quantum vortices. A very bizarre phenomenon that looks like a bunch of holes inside a superfluid, but all separated in an extremely specific way and also spinning with exactly the same velocity. And here this unusual spatial property is usually produced by a quantum wave function. And so this very bizarre phenomenon of quantum vortices has always been a kind of a defining feature for many different quantum states. Or to be more specific, for many different exotic states of matter that usually manifest in extreme conditions when quantum mechanics takes over. And this property is actually believed to exist in a lot of different astrophysical phenomena as well and is super important for high energy physics, usually involving particle accelerators. And so a lot of scientists have always believed that these quantum vortices were kind of a defining feature for superfluidity. But superfluids have been known to exist for a long time and despite being unusual are pretty well known. But for approximately half a century now, physicists have always speculated that maybe there's a way to turn these things into something else even more exotic, something that would not be fluid anymore, but something that would actually become solid. And so for many decades, researchers speculated about the idea of super solidity, with this type of matter being a little bit different. Here it's essentially a spatially ordered material, and very often crystallized material, where a lot of particles are in individual spots, but also possess superfluid properties. Which is what makes it so bizarre. It's basically like imagining a solid object that also produces flow. Now in our classical view it's extremely difficult to imagine, but this is what's been speculated ever since the early 60s. But it wasn't until early experiments with ultrasound that the existence of supersolids possibly became a reality. And here by definition they just had to have two things. Some kind of a continuous symmetry involving some kind of a crystalline structure, but also phase invariance with locked single particle wave functions, or essentially they basically had to become superfluid as well. And we finally had the first ever proof back in 2017. You can actually read about this in one of the studies in the description, but here for the first time ever, by using Bose-Einstein condensates, or essentially these quantum supercooled gases, researchers were able to create specialized quantum states of matter where particles suddenly became rigid and had a very specific structure, but also started to show signs of superfluidity, and specifically zero viscosity. But back then this was interesting, but still not a definitive proof that this was a supersolid. 
In other words, there was definitely crystals, but the superfluidity was still not confirmed 100%. In essence, suggesting that for over 50 years, it wasn't really clear if supersolids can physically exist. Something similar seems to exist, but the supersolids were still kind of elusive. And some of these first experiments relied on exotic atoms as well. This first experiment was with lanthanide atoms. Here, the atom of choice was dysprosium. And so here, interestingly, these first signs of supersolidity started to appear naturally just through the atomic interaction itself. And so in the last few years, by using dysprosium atoms, researchers have actually been able to push the envelope just a little bit more and create much more complex experiments. For example, in 2021, they created the first supersolid disk that started to exhibit additional superfluid properties. But more importantly, it also possessed properties of solids. And here, one property was vibration. It was basically able to create vibrations inside, just like what we expect from something with a crystalline structure. But still, no quantum vortices. In other words, the most important feature of the quantum fluid, or a superfluid, was still absent. And that's until now. Just a few weeks ago, researchers released a new study. And it looks like they've finally done it. Quantized vortices produced artificially inside a crystallized quantum gas, or basically inside a supersolid. But here the experiment was relatively complex. Basically, in order to even produce these vortices, they couldn't just touch the solid because it would actually just completely fall apart, but instead they had to use magnetic fields in order to rotate two-dimensional supersolid, which would then form these very specific vortices. And here we're talking about quantized vortices with a specific location and a very specific spin. You can learn the details in a study by Eva Casotti and her team released in Nature. And here is the actual evidence, the theory and the experimental observations. But I guess what's unusual in this case is that inside this supersolid, the vortices were produced in a slightly different way from what's usually expected from a typical superfluid. In other words, this basically suggests supersolids definitely seem to possess their own version of superfluidity and do not produce exactly the same results. Nevertheless, these incredible images basically show us this new image of quantum vortices, but inside a solid. Here the researchers kind of compare this to a Schrodinger's cat. Except that instead of being both dead and alive, the cat in this case is both solid and liquid. And so for physics, this is a relatively major breakthrough. Finally observing something that was predicted to exist over 50 years ago and confirming even more bizarre features of these exotic quantum states. And though this doesn't really have an actual application yet, here the researchers believe this potentially explains some unusual observations from, for example, superconductors, and in some sense can also explain things like neutron stars. For example, neutron stars are known for their glitches, and some researchers believe it could be caused by these superfluid vortices trapped inside neutron stars that sometimes causes the neutron star to suddenly accelerate. And this is something that very likely is going to be really important once we start using things like quantum crystals, which are slowly finding their use in a lot of different technologies. And so in some sense, this is important, just maybe not yet, but still really impressive and super cool. And of course, a really important confirmation that in that quantum world, there does exist a state of matter that's both liquid and solid at the same time. And though it doesn't make sense for us, it doesn't have to, because that's just quantum physics. Anyway, once there are some additional discoveries, we'll definitely come back and talk more about this in some of the future videos. Until then, check out some of the previous videos on similar topics in the description below. Thank you for watching, subscribe, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support this channel on Patreon by joining the channel membership, or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.